Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to showcase my new toy from the shack, the Kongsang UEK6 handheld radio. It's gained popularity across the internet for its modifiability and custom firmware support. Let's unbox it and see what accessories it comes with. First up is the UEK6 itself. Setting it aside, then we have this antenna that appears to be a rubber decky. It does seem to have a different physical shape on the bottom side. There might be a matching network integrated into it. We find a charging dock with a US power connector, which I hope my bench power supply can handle. Taking a closer look of charger power ratings, the input voltage range is 110 to 240 volt AC and the output voltage rating is 8.4 volt DC and 500 milliampere range. There is also a hand strip which we probably won't be using and a quality looking belt clip that slides on to the battery for attachment is also provided. Additionally, we have this piece of paper mentioning certificate of conformity in Chinese text and a user manual with limited text is also provided. Now let's focus on the radio. The battery packed separately is now attached, presenting the compact new look and larger display compared to old UV5R models. On the right side, we find interface options including a USB Type-C connector for charging, eliminating the need of the charging dock during travel. There is also an option for a PTT mic and speaker likely compatible with dual audio plug accessories common in Chinese radios. At the top, we have the volume cum power knob and an SMA mail connector for antenna along with an LED flashlight. On the left side, three buttons control RX Quelch, flashlight and PTT with the later two likely being programmable. Now let's have a look at the battery specifications. To pull the battery out, there's a small push button on the bottom side of the radio. You have to push and lift the battery. Here we go. It's a 7.2 volt 1600 mAh lithium ion battery. I believe it's sufficient for the operation of this particular radio. Now, the radio specification, the model number written is UVK6. The output power is less than 5 watts. The frequency range mentioned as 136 to 174 MHz slash 400 to 470 MHz. Let's put it back. Next, we'll be fixing this belt clip. The belt clip can be easily fixed on the back side of the battery by sliding it in the provided sliding mount. Now, before powering up this radio, let's connect the antenna on the provided SMA port. The keypad is multifunctional with separate keys for menu and up down. Under the menu option, we have scrolls, step, TX power, receive TCS, transmit TCS, offset, wideband, narrowband, memory, save, box. Well, Exploring the menu reveals settings similar to Bafong radios. Here is a RX button on the left side of the radio.
there's one separate button for flashlight also and a LED is provided on the top side to indicate transmit There's an exit button and uh, other functions are integrated in this multifunctional keypad. There's a separate button here on the bottom right corner mentioned as F. I believe it's a function key to select this multiple functions. So here we have the band function associated with the button 1 using which we can change the band of the radio of VFO1. The function associated with the button 2 is switching of the VFOs from VFO A and VFO B. And the third button we have VFO and channel mode switching a scan option is provided in associated with the start button here the interesting feature is the frequency counter associated with button 4 let's check out whether it's reading the frequency from my other radio well I'm transmitting on 144 800 MHz and uh, great it's reading around 144 79992 it has completed the scanning and it's almost near to the frequency that I was transmitting on the other radio Let's check on UHF frequency range. Here I am testing at 437 MHz. Great, it's uh, reading this uh, 437.409. It is approximately equal to 437.410 MHz. So this is quite useful feature we have in this radio. The function associated with button number 5 is uh, NOVA pre-programmed frequencies. Here I can switch the frequencies of multiple NOVA frequency range. I believe it can be reprogrammed with the required frequency of interest. The function associated with button 6 is the power adjustment from high, middle and low. We can also get a indication on the display. The function associated with button 0 is FM radio, that is broadcast FM. And against button 7 is Vox. Button 8 has a function to monitor reverse frequency in case you have set a frequency offset. And button 9 is having a call function to call a pre-programmed emergency frequency. Well, that concludes our quick demonstration. This radio is the most affordable, hackable option available. Offering numerous hacks that I'm excited to explore and share with all of you. Stay tuned for more videos on this radio. That's all for today, 73's.